Yes, welcome everybody back to the Ethereal Plains. Let us begin the duel of the century. Of the century. So. I will use the heart of cards. Oh, wait, wrong franchise. All right. You have started first. All right, well, first let me do okay. the announcer half. <clears throat> the duel between... <clears throat> Ravik, because you don't have a last name, <laughs> and Fallen Tree will now begin. The winner will be determined by whoever is knocked unconscious first. Let the duel commence. There is no uh, another oh. rule. No outside help from the audience or any spectators. Oh, I'm poo. <laughs> you may, however, cheer on your respective person. Let the duel commence. Ravik, are you sure you want to do this? Oh, trust me. We have to do this. Okay. Mm. I will cast Magic Missile. Does oh, my boy. Wild Search activate right now, or because of Tides of Chaos, or... Spoon moment. Hold. I mean, I gotta pull up my notes okay. here. I will say for the first attack, no. So you can roll your... Okay, so I'll just roll... Your your straight up damage. Oh god damn it. Oh well it still activates anyways. Roll me a D. 76. Uh, okay, 76. Nice knowing you. Yep. I just knowing somebody. <laughs> so not sure who, but Okay, somebody's. I need you to roll me a let's see, one, two, three, four. Uh oh. One, two, three. No no. Six. Seven. Oh. I need you to oh. roll me a d8. I think he's counting how many people are here. Yep. Seven. Seven. Okay, well, this affects the professor, but doesn't really do anything to her. You don't know what it does. You go to cast your magic um, missile, and you get sparks come out of your hand, and nothing happens. Damn it. <laughs> as Mark can, I'm holding his laughter oh. as that happens. <laughs> This is why I use soul swords. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ravik, it is now your turn. All right. Oh, first things first. Ravik is gonna take off his gauntlets to do less damage. <laughs> okay. Next. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh. This map is to scale. Please, I'll, oh, I'm still on, oh, God. You need me to migrate you 30 feet? Was that 30 feet? I think yep. that was. You have moved 30 feet. Uh, Alright, so that was my move, and then I'm not going to do any spells, but as a free action, I say to fall, whatever you do, don't hold back. <laughs> Okay. okay. All right. So I'm assuming you're just gonna hold an action then. Arm yeah. Okay. What would be the held action for? Uh, you know what? No, I'll just wait. No, not have any action. Never mind. Just okay. wait. Fall again. Really? What an interesting choice. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> Uh, I'm trying to think what I'm going to do. I hope you put up a good fight because I'm about to bring to rain down some real power on the storm, Cleric. Oh god, not the meteorites again. Vicious mockery. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Roll a I didn't even hear though. what he said. Yeah, like half cut what? out of the kit. It like half oh, cut my out in between like bits and pieces. It's okay, oh, I got the that's gist. so annoying. He's gonna rain down some real something power. Real on power. The storm cleric, yeah. Oh, and he passes regardless, so nothing happens. No, he still gets two psychic damage. Yeah. No, you take two damage, and your ears minorly bleeding. Rather. No, it's if you pass, you take half damage, but. If you fail, you take full damage and you have disadvantage. 
<laughs> Follow. Pulling out all the stuff with the cantrips. Mm. Follow and move back one space and turn. Okay. Ravik. Let's see. Let me go back to my ruler here. Let's make sure I'm so 30 feet right there. Can you, hustle, can you hustle? Move up your speed again? As an action? Yes, you could m move double if you wanted to. It's fine. It's all part of the not planned plan. <laughs> the not planned. Fall, I thought you wanted to get this item. What's wrong? Are you holding back? <laughs> oh, trust me, I'm taking my time. Asmar yawns. Well, please hurry it up. <laughs> <laughs> that all? Ravik? Is that all you wish to do? Good theater. Yep, all I wanted to do was move. Again. <laughs> Fall, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. Psyching you out. Uh, fall will touch the circle of the blasting on his head. Because I believe I have that equipped. Sure. Uh, <laughs> and he will use Scorching Ray. Okay. Roll three attacks for me. It's it is two. A, nope. The scorching it's, ray. It's a two d six. Ah, well, you still have to roll the hit for both. No, it's one scorching ray. Scorching ray is a to hit and spell. Scorching not... ray is three ray. Like scorching ray isn't just one attack. Yeah, it's three individual hits. Oh, you have to I roll for sworn... each one. Oh, so it's three attacks. Yeah, three. Oh, yeah, I can bring... three spell attacks okay and you said it has three charges a day yep. so I, hey that's a knock count that. that's his anyways yeah I, meant, I was trying to link of the description do any of those hit you Ravik? Uh, matching hits right yes all right two of those hit okay so okay so the 17 boop. and the 14 will probably hit and boop oof Ooh, that, that hurts. So, 3 and Six. 11. So you, Incredibly average. So, 14 <laughs> total damage. Takes a hit, calls it <laughs> average. <laughs> oh, no, 1, 2, 5, 6. Uh, I need to check something really quick. Remember, you do have your feet that allows you to move 40. Yes, but I believe I had to use an action. Is the thing. He doesn't do that. <laughs> I mean, regardless, it's just gonna be a mobile match at this point. Which fall will win? Me. I think it has to be an action. Your reflex is like. I do think fall will win if uh, Ravik's current strategy of move and free action talk. Continues to pan out. <laughs> I think. Oh, I am okay. very curious. Where are you going with this? <laughs> to not just like jump at a f easy attack. I mean, oh, so I guess it's not using an action. Nope. Be like, I've got a class feature when I take damage. You take okay. damage. Okay. Yeah, and after that, scorching ray. <laughs> and then another thirty feet. Uh, yeah, you can double your movement for one turn, but you cannot move for yeah, I got another that. turn. All right, so you move. Oh, wait, no. Everybody to the other side of the circle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, these remember, are... I actually moved 120 feet away. <laughs> uh, I will actually move to here. Okay. I'm going to have the professor <laughs> move just in case. She's going to step meep, meep. aside, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ravik, it is now your turn. I will say to the ref, you may want to move some more. 
Can you she, give her a free action? Yeah. She's to move. A couple other spaces aside. <laughs> See, I believe this is a cone. I forget what it is. Oh, no. Tap the spell. I know what he's doing. <laughs> Uh, just poke on. it like a stick. Because I have my notes in my separate thing, so let me pop up this real quick. Sorry if I'm taking any time away. No, that's fine. What? It's your turn on combat. You, that's when you get to hog the time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so I guess you didn't take two damage at first. Yeah, of course, the 14. Was- so far. That you've actually done in damage. Which isn't bad. It's a little of this out. 35 feet. You can always move mm, closer to make sure, sure that this... people don't get caught. I'm assuming this... Actually, I'm going to delete... I'm going to move Gunther's yeah, icon over here. I'll say he moved, like, before the battle began. Sure. Oh, well, that's not even going to hit, so never mind. Oof. Well, you miss completely. That was a close one. It, like, struck, like, a tr- literally the ground outside of the circle. Wait. Wait, what did he do? He called he did lightning, call lightning. And he missed. Um. I don't think you have to hit with call light. All right. Uh, 10 feet tall with a 60 foot radius and around a point C within 100 feet of dragon. Uh, yeah, I think I have to make a dexterity. Yeah, make a dexterity save. saving throw. So that's not a to hit Ravik. You have to edit that to be a saving throw type thing later. What is your, what is your DC? Right. What is your DC, Ravik? Your, DV, your DC save for spells. Uh... I don't know. It'd be 10 <laughs> Where do I check that? Big modifier. Which is wisdom. Your cleric it, 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 wisdom. It should be listed in your spells. Yeah, go to spells and you'll see spell safety. Let's see spells. Yeah. Spells. And I thought your DC was 8 plus your proficiency plus your spell casting modifier. Uh, 15. Ooh. Okay. Good luck. Uh,. Roll deck, save. I have a question. I have a question, though. Yes. If I save, if I fail the dex check, can I still use a reaction? Or do I have to choose to use a reaction? I mean, it depends on what your reaction is. Spell. No. Unless if it is counter spell, then that's the only exception. Uh, no, I have another spell that's a reaction. Wow. Well, then I would allow it. If you take damage. If I fail? It, I, I mean, okay. if it's a dam- you take damage or you don't, doesn't matter. Reactions are reactions. Oh, yep. You so, fail. Yeah, I will use a reaction spell. Uh, it better see. be considered one, otherwise I'm going to nix it. Absorb element. Absorb, absorb element. Oh. Here is what it's. Oh. I'll just post what it says. Reaction when you take one. When you take damage of those <laughs> specific you... spells, the creature blah, 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 you have resistance to that damage type. Until the start of your next turn, the first time you hit let's see, with a melee attack on your next turn, you, the target takes 1d6 of the same damage, and the spell ends. Interesting. So it's basically a resistance, but also you can smack back. Yep. So he'll take half from that, like, call lightning. No, he failed. So, so what he was takes the damage the from that? Damage. Um, yeah, so he'll take full damage 3D and 10. resist Jesus Christ. Yeah, 3d10 damage on a failed save at level whatever one. 
I think this is a level, it's a level three spell. spell. It's a level three. Yeah, gotcha. all lightning don't play around. Yeah. All right, roll three d ten, Ravik. Oh wait, did I need to roll wild magic surge or? Uh, I think for reactions that doesn't count towards. Okay. It. Three o oh, is the custom thing. It's off to the side. Let's see. And remember to add your spell casting modifier of wisdom. Which was three or five? Three d ten. Th- oh, just three d ten. Whatever your wisdom modifier is. So eleven plus Ravik's wisdom. Does he have his wisdom to it? It's his spell casting. It's a spell. Spells work. I thought it had to specifically say uh, yeah. you add your each spell I I've always ran it how me and my sister have always done it for 5e is we always add spell casting modifier okay it's how we've done it before it should automatically be in your spells then shouldn't he add that onto his uh, damage? His charisma onto his damage from. Before? No, it'd be wisdom. It, it was already for me. It was already for me. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the damage fall. That he didn't get his charisma to it. Wow. No, it no. it's added to that. Or... No, it it should just be normal. Uh, okay, he has actually a plus four to damage, so you take fifteen. I checked for Ravik. But don't I get damage resistance? Uh, let's see. Uh, or is yeah. it just after I get attacked? No, you get the resistance. You get on resistance until the start of your next return. So yeah, you would take half, which is uh, so let's see, half of seven. Okay. And I still so have you- a move action, by the way. Yeah. But now you just see fall electrified. His, his, basically like a cat getting blow dried. No, it No, I imagine poopy. he's actually like electrified. Yeah. And electric like because coursing in between it, your whiskers. He's he's absorbed the element, it's a thing. I know. I know. I'm trying to flavor. So first it. before I move oh, sorry, It's guys. like that it's like when a Saiyan turns Super Saiyan two for the first time. Hmm. Anyhow, moving okay. on. Anyways, there's a free action that I'll say to fall. You're finally starting to strategize, I see. Who says I wasn't? <laughs> hmm. Whoop. 30 feet. Wait, that's 30 feet? I checked, yeah. I went <laughs> diagonal. Yep, diagonals count as five spaces each. Oh, fuck. I screwed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fine. You want to play play up close and personal? Fine with me. Uh, it's Ravik's turn. Or wait, oh, no. unless if he has something else he, he can do. He just did his turn. Yeah, the the lightning call lightning. That was it. All right. Well, fall. So I'll try. I'll try. To get closer to me. <laughs> this will be fun. Mm, You're now like let's... butting heads at this point. <laughs> I'm see. doing the math here. I'm crunching the numbers and it looks like that's melee range. Yep. <laughs> Dying yep. all five feet is melee. But the thing is you can still use spells at uh, melee range. Oh, you sure can. Mm-hmm. Just be careful. <laughs> Evil DM laugh. Okay. When the DM the laughs, laughs, you know it's too late. Ball bring out the his book, DM open no it up, is. and he will cast blink. Oh snap! Roll me a d20, good sir. Nine. Nine for, let's see, at the next 
turn and when the spell ends, you are on the ethereal plane. You will unturn. Oh, I thought that was for the wild magic surge. No, this is for the spell first. But that's at the end of the turn. I have not end my turn yet. Yeah. Well, then I guess roll me a d20 for your wild magic. <laughs> Doesn't... Okay, I'll roll d20 again. <laughs> I'm gonna be a picky boy. Okay, well... Nope. And... Let's see, what is the thing? On... 11 or higher, you van... The current... Plane... At the start of your... T and I guess I'll end my turn, so I guess I'll roll a d20. Yeah, to plane shift wherever you want. 14. 14. You pass, so... You are now so when, out of existence for... Yeah, so... You literally just see fall disappear from your sight. Let's you can choose an unoccupied space of your choice that you can see within 10 feet of your space that you vanished from. Here's the thing. Can I move even though I use my cat's... My feline grace. You can move the 10 feet, but you can't actually move due to that ability. You can move 10 feet in any direction. Okay. I guess I'll make two of me. Oh. That's where you were. Yeah. And yeah, I thought that would copy me. Yeah, so I'll mark it with like a dot saying that's where I am. Mm-hmm. All right, you see fall vanish from your eyes, Ravik. <laughs> well, I guess you win. It is now your turn, <laughs> uh, Ravik. So I assume I have to roll a perception check or something? No. I am completely gone from sight. Um, yeah, he's, he's gone in the ethereal plane. He, he, until he, he, he reaches the next and out turn. Of <laughs> uh, so you have no idea. Like, Basically, at the end of each turn, he coin flips. Eleven or higher, he's not around for your turn. Ten or lower, he stays around. <laughs> and if it Ravik really will sit down and do nothing. <laughs> okay. You're you could ready an action to fuck him up when he appears again. Nope. But he might not be in range. But the thing is, I appear right back where I am. Or where I started. No, you can choose any space where you want to appear in. Oh, true. Yeah. Then yeah, I guess I'll roll spring. my d20 again. Mm-hmm. To stay in... Blink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, well, you're gone. The, the end of your turn. That's not the end of your turn. Not the start. I said I am my turn. I already moved ten feet. Mm-hmm. Oh, you didn't do anything? Yeah, he didn't do any. He's in blank. He can't do anything. He has to continue keeping concentration, basically. No, as long as he rolls uh, an 11 can, or higher. You can, keep, you can take an action during blank. It's just like but normal. It, it won't affect people, it's a thing. No, you 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 appear. Your turn starts. You, you appear pop back again at the beginning of your turn. You can attack them or cast spells at them, and then at the end of your turn, blink back out of existence and do okay, hit and run so, from another dimension. Yeah, appear again. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Uh, magic missile. Magic surge. Roll me a one d one hundred. Okay. First time I'm forcing it on you. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. <laughs> big money, big, big money. <laughs> what happens? Okay, okay, I need you to roll me first a d10. <laughs> okay! Nine. Nine! Okay, so I gotta make a marker for this thing. <laughs> oh, boy. Hold on, I, I need to bring out one of Guy X's so extra notes on this one. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine. So right here. Bloop. What just happened? All right. And I need you to roll me a 1d8 for me. Six. Uh, you s basically summoned a statue of yourself that is six feet tall. 
<laughs> What's his so name? Is shorter? Technically. What is it made out of? It is made of marble. Nice. Like, it's perfectly sc sculpted in your exact pose of attack right now. <laughs> like I said, goodbye. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then the thing goes off. The weakness of the spell is sometimes you won't... Yep, and then I'll you move. You won't go out, and then you'll be vulnerable. Another ten feet, and turn. Okay. Uh, right back. Thing two. So, did I take any damage at that turn, or no. No. no? You just saw me appear and make a statue. Every time he's tried to cast magic missile, something else has happened instead. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you all notice a random statue will fall just up here out of thin air. Well, the thing is, they That's also saw me randomly potential. appear, and then a statue of me. <laughs> wow. Ravik will continue sitting and just say out loud, How long do you. In I mean, are you really that desperate? Come on. Appear back. Strategy, my friend. I was, talking about, I was talking about the bow. How desperate are you are to obtain it? It's a legendary item. Why would I not be interested? Well, let's see, the last one you tried to grab cost us information, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. Magic missile, again! <laughs> okay, roll me You make a good 20. point, magic missile. <laughs> For that magic surge, boy. <laughs> okay, uh, 1d20? Yep. Oh, god damn it. Fine, 1d20. Oh, oh my yeah. god! 1d100. Wow. Wow. 44! It would be funny if you got 40 wow. again. Wow, again. Yeah. You got that. Again? No, not the same one. You now know of a location of another legendary weapon. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my However, god! You must now roll another 1d12 to know which random one you know the location of. Three. Three. Oh He's boy. Like, I know where the bow really is. <laughs> you now know where... I know where the arrows that Armageddon go the bow. bow is. You now know where the Axe of Wolfberg exists. Jaw Wolfberg. drops. <laughs> Disappears again. <laughs> Hopefully. Nope! nope. I'm back. You were, you were back in your place. Okay, so I'll remove this fall. Yep. Whoop! And remove this. Yes. Whoop, 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 Zoe burning away. To 30 feet. By the way, now you notice the statue of yourself as you're moving away from him. <laughs> <laughs> Hide behind yourself. Maybe he'll get I confused. I can't. It is a statue. <laughs> but the thing is, it's too far for me to do that. And Wait, did I not walk away 30 feet? You walked away 30 feet. Okay, let's see if... I went here... 10. To here. 10. So that did means... Did you take that path? No, I did not. Thinking face. I did not walk away 30 feet. Hide behind here. Right here. Okay. All right. And you end your turn, I'm assuming? Yep. All right, Ravik. He, the cat has finally reappeared and hide, hid behind the statue of himself. <laughs> I can get up to... You got 30. Oop. Right there. Looks like... Looks like yep. yep. Mm -hmm. That's not how math works, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> these are not... What? These lines are not all the same length. <laughs> Whatever. Don't worry about it. I know. It's just, the rules. It's just how five... It's just how five... Five, you simplified it. Anywho, moving on. 
I'm not complaining. My turn again. I just find it funny. I'm assuming that you ended your turn, Ravik. Hold on. Oh. I'm going to cast this on the statue instead. Oh, no. Oh. I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I said on the statue. It automatically fails. What? Oh, what? counter spell. That's a waste of a counter spell. It's well, a very it's a good dirty count. foot. It's a dirty foot cone. It's a thing. Or it's a ten foot cone. It's a ten foot cube or radius. Or yeah, radius. So I can cancel it from hurting me as well. That's well, fair. you would basically reduce the spell to nothing. So you basically cast the spell and nothing. Yeah. But from what I see, I see like the silhouette of an elephant man stopping it. Like yeah. it just absorbed it. Yeah. Okay. And he can't tell me your about this spiel. elephant man. It's just a silhouette of a, a Luxodon. Luxodon. I mean, if you want the other players to see it. The other characters to see it in game. That's up to the DM. Yeah, you would notice it. It's like an ethereal body. Yeah, so you yes. just see this sil silhouette of a Luxodon suddenly just pull the shatter in like a Sukiyomi, or not Sukiyomi. Uh, what was Kakashi's move? Oh, Chidori. No, not the Chidori. The the one they use is for Sharingan. The implosion move. Kamui? Kamui, yep. that's it. Yep. I base the Luxodon basically Kamui the shatter. Yeah, yep. And that will end your turn, Ravik, I assume, since you could do literally nothing. Yep. Alright. Fall. Huh. Well that is fun. <laughs> do 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 do. Hmm, I need to do some measuring. Okay, so as long as I go to here, I should be... Cats... Cats whatever, feline speed, whatever. Mm-hmm. Cat, cats at whatever speed. That's oh, pretty slow. I can't remember what it's called. Sue me. Cats zoomies. Cats... <laughs> If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Magic Missile. Alright. Here we go. 1d20. <laughs> That's got to be your last spell slot at that level, right? I think I have... I have one more. Because <laughs> I've only cast it three times, I believe. Yep. This is the third, yes. He's missling. Yes! Finally! Alright, you do straight up damage. Yep. And it's, uh... Three bolts? Yep. Plus one. I'm so proud of you, son. Uh, so one let me plus one. Three times. No! I'm actually casting it at... Oh, wait, I have to decide what level I cast it at before I cast it, correct? Yep. Otherwise, I'll okay, assume so it's the base level. Yeah. So, 3d4. Yep. 3 4 plus one. To each. Uh, where is my magic missile? There it is. A one. A two. A three. Hey, not bad. That is a total of ten damage you take, Ravik. There you go. Alright. And, and turn. Ravik, you're up. Let's see. It's all the way over there, eh? Yep. Yep. Oops. Whoa. Scroll down a little bit. Oop. Keep forgetting to click on the damn thing. Jeez. Are you gonna oh, dash towards me? Me. Oh, what the hell? God damn it. It's not working. I can move you. Oh, there we go. It's like lagging for some reason. Forty-five. Uh, if someone were to hit me at melee, you would have to dash. 
For Thunder Wave, is that a touch spell or is that um? No, it's a like, it says a- I thought Thunder Wave was a was a touch. Mm, I consider both Thunder Wave and Shatter a range move of thirty feet at maximum. They have to be, but that's I was but that's Shatter I and Thunder Wave are. Uh, let's see, self fifteen foot fifteen foot cube. So it is a range move. Yeah, 15 foot nice. cube originating from you. So you have to be in 15 foot cube away from him, at least to hit him. Alright, so I'll have to move first. Mm-hmm. And that will be enough distance to just get me. I think that was right here. Oh. Oop, wrong thing. How do I? Yeah, never mind. You were right here next to the statue. Yeah, he moved twenty. He moved twenty-five feet. You can and then move he there. Can, yeah, yeah, you can move up to there. Yeah, if you're if you're right there, then I'm just. Yeah, if you're right next to that ping, you should be good. And then, All right, yeah. so that was a fourteen on the on the roll there. Uh, that, hit? that hits me. But right. I thought it was a DC as well. N- yeah, it's a it's a save. See. So yeah, it's a Constitution save. So you didn't need to roll ahead. Good luck so with that. Roll fifteen. Yeah, that's not going to be great. Have fifteen or don't higher. Roll a twenty. Please. Give and me also, roll a 20 if he this. nope, nope, <laughs> instantaneous fail. So roll two D whatever. Six st- thunder damage, and he is pushed ten feet away. Out Ring of the circle, pain. baby. <laughs> do I lose? Yes, you do. No, I'm actually asking no, that. That's, just... that's up to the. <clears throat> and due to the opponent being knocked out of the ring, Ravik is now the winner of the magic duel. I hold up my hand. I, hold on. I, hold on, guys. I hold up my hand. Let him back in the ring. Ooh. Respect. Wait, what? It says let him back in the ring. As you wish. You may continue. Am I allowed to get up as a free action and get in? Yeah, I'll let you go back to where you were standing at, basically. Uh, So that was a six damage? Yes, six thunder. Okay. Fall's not looking too hot, but he's okay. I don't know, it's crazy. Oh, oh and uh, poor trade to the rules <laughs> of the duel, you cannot use healing potions. You are allowed to use healing spells, however. I am fine with that. Uh, so, my move now? Mm hmm. Yep. Touches the circle it again. Scorching Ray. Yep. Roll three hits. Comes again. Miss. Yep. Match. Definite hit. Sixteen. Sixteen fire damage to you, Ravik. Wow. Those are good rolls. How is Ravik looking? Hold on. Sixteen. Uh. You don't have any resistance, do you? He's a lightning cobalt, so he has resistance to lightning damage. No, I'm not looking so hot either. I'll just say that much. <laughs> it's a pretty even Claire battle. Said. Uh, that's all I can do. I can't move because of... The feline uh, agility. Feline agility. Yep. Ravik, it is your, <laughs> now your turn. Let's see. Yeah, I think most thunder damage are DCs. Mm hmm. Going back to the basics. Ugh. No. 
Ah. <laughs> Whoop. I just. Whoop. What the frick? All right, fall. It is you. Oh, your turn. <sighs> it's because you're trying to click his attack, <laughs> so it won't work for you. Uh. <laughs> let's see. What can I do? Dola Gerb six repeating attack. Uh, where is it? Magic missile again, since that's really the only spell I can do. Roll one d twenty. What? Le wait, what spell level? For second. Okay. Okay. Still How many second level spell thing. slots do you have? One more. I have one more second level spell slot. And one more level one. And uh, because my scorching ray is all an item. Yep. So let's see. One d twenty. What do I get? Eleven. That so no happens. wild magic. So roll and 40. I believe it has increased to forty four yep. at second level. Forty four plus four at that point. Forty four plus one. Well, for each individual oh. dice, yeah. Yeah. So. That's why I'm saying plus four. Uh, <laughs> second level. Oh, that's nice. That misses. Wait. That, oh, that wrong spell. Duh. Wow, he's really generous. He healed you. Ha ha ha, very funny. Uh, magic missile. Three, four. Let's see, five, like, six, six ten, twelve, sixteen. Sixteen damage. And Ravik is knocked out. <laughs> Bam. I win! Womp. And the winner is Fallen Tree. <laughs> Good I, fight, I, Ravik. I, 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 I rush out and I hold Ravik in my arms and I cry up into the sky. No! <laughs> you monster! He's not dead. Good fighting, Fall! Ah, then I go back to. <laughs> I'm guessing Rabbit gets healed up. Yeah, you were fully healed, or, or at least gotten back up to like five HP. Is there anything you can do to heal our magics? Our magic since we just basically battled. Mm. I don't really got anything for that. <laughs> the teacher admits. Ah. Uh, you chose also, what are we going to do about that dude. points at the statue that you created? <laughs> I guess use it for target practice. Hey! Yeah, fair. <laughs> I mean... Fall, fall uses levitate. It's too heavy for it. Oh. <laughs> do I still burn a slot? Yes. How much can a bag of holding hold? A lot. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> slide the bag of holding over the statue. That is a thing. Actually, I'm gonna roll her something first. Uh, let's see the bag of holding and, five feet deep, okay. so it would still stick out by a foot. And second roll. Oh, it can yeah. hold sixty-four cubic feet. <laughs> I have to look at what my happened? magic chart. I have to roll myself a one d one hundred. Eleven. Eleven. She can control which one she wants, and she will do that one. What happens? She casts Fireball at level five on this thing three times. What? So, a oh. lot of damage. Damn it. I'm glad that didn't happen to Ravik. So. Did you have to destroy my my statue? It's the college's property, so they're entitled to do what they'd like. Technically, it's my property. I created it. 
Yeah, but it's on their ground. I'm on the ground. Technically, I'm not their property. Oh, and that's how much damage she just did. <laughs> Jesus! I had to calculate so all looking? three fireballs. It is gone. Can By the I way, catch the, the, the decapitated head? Yes. <laughs> it weighs <laughs> 20 yes. pounds. <laughs> yeah. So it's like a bowling ball. You catch it and you're like, oh god, <laughs> floor. <laughs> Here. I have something that can carry it. Brings out the bag folding. Or do you want to carry it? Hey! No! You keep your head on your shoulders! Glares at you. By the way... Put the head in the bag. By the way, I've recently discovered another artifact. Oh no! Oh, wonderful! What was it called? Yes, Revik. It was called Wolfberg. Uh. Oh, I was suddenly moved abruptly. Yes, that was me. Oh, okay. I was going to say that Ravik would have gotten up slowly and uh, had his fist clenched as a as a visual indicator. You all right? Uh, the teacher asks you after she blew up Fall Statue, which you watched as you got up. <laughs> by the way, Ravik, good fight. Extends hand. Yeah, we'll go to go fetch your bow. Whatever. But the wolf, yeah, or, uh, yeah. the the artifact they discovered is called Wolf. Mike and I not remember the name, Berg. even though I was Berg. Wolfberg. Wolfberg. Like a burger. Okay. But none of us use axes. Can I roll Arcana to find out what it is? Uh, I would roll to history. the actually. bow of the ship. <laughs> Hold on. What? Roll history. Oh, God. I'm not... Eh, actually, I'm proficient in it, surprisingly. You've heard legends about this weapon. It was once used by a old, old ancient warlord that used to run the islands off the coast. All I know about it is that it was used by a warlord who who ran off the... Why am I the coast so bad remembering this shit right now? Of Fior. Fior? Yes, that is the island nation that is off the coast. Ah. Uh, who used to rule a place called Fior? But that's pretty Fire much it. For rounds. <laughs> Have any of you ever heard of this thing called Wolfberg? Um, I heard oh, of that. <laughs> I roll knowledge history, I guess, liar? Nope. Glad doesn't know it. You know about as much as I do. Well, it's my home, so... Oh, oh, hey, knows everything about shit. this. You, the vampires are fearful of this weapon. It, the old warlord that used to use it, said, was able to conjure hurricanes with it, just by swinging it. <laughs> okay, because, um, my character has. A uh, feat that only works with great weapons. Is this a great axe or a it battle axe? It is a axe? great axe. Okay, yeah, maybe we could That's check it out. Great. <laughs> Are you gonna say this? That's great. And liar, since it was uh, basically treasure of your homeland, you do know a little bit more than fall, but not by much. You actually. Kn you actually Met though, more well, he's seen the warlord a few times before he up and disappeared one day. She just makes a face and shrinks further behind Azamar's cloak. There is a reason why he disappeared though. There was a terrifying woman who came apart onto the island and slew him in front of your entire village. And took the weapon for herself. Oh, jeez. 
Fall is grabbing out the map and circling where the location is. You so mark what it. is this person who slayed him? You didn't really get a good look at her. All you saw was red and white hair. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's all coming together. Does she seem familiar in any way? <laughs> you could tell <laughs> it was a I female. Think back on it. <laughs> but you could not tell the face. But it was an older woman from what you could tell. Liar is just like, oh no. <laughs> Something wrong? Uh, well, where did you say that it was maybe? Po it uh, is in the middle of the fucking ocean about two weeks travel from Valentia. What God said. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, the big scary lady who took it away from the... Also, very scary man. Was, uh... So I guess we're going to come no. to it either way. What? <clears throat> oh wait, did you not say what this woman? Or never mind. Next, what I it said. said. There was a there was a big scary lady who came and took it away from the considerably more sca also scary man. Hmm. Well, I just know where the location is. Um, she was I, very I know the. And she had red and white hair, and I think maybe it's not a great idea. Thing is, I know where it is. I don't know where exactly it is. Honestly, it sounds like an awful big adventure to go get a legendary weapon. Not sure we're up to the snuff of it yet. <laughs> Do you not understand how amazing it would be to have these items? Sure, but who has them right now? You think uh, they're going to like you trying to take him? Hmm. You think they're not going to take the legendary weapon and point it right at you? Hmm. You make a good point. Not sure how enjoyable it's going to be if it's just going to be enjoying it killing you. I mean, maybe if we can burgle it, you know, sneak up it. Oh, got it. But I, I don't think it's going to play out that way. Fall smiles at that idea. idea. I think we're going to sneak up and trip everything and knock everything and then it'll be a big fight and then I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> That's rather uh, auspicious. <laughs> and then you'll die. <laughs> and then no. they'll die. And then him will die. That's not okay. <laughs> I'm a responsible dad. Hen raises its head from your hair as it's been sleeping the entire time. <laughs> I pet it. Go to bed, Hen. <laughs> <laughs> And it lays its head back on your hair. <laughs> Fall will take off his circlet and put it into the bag of holding. Alright. We may be late now. Sure, I'm good at leaving. Well, if you need another magic sorcerer to talk to, I will be here, I guess, every day. The teacher Meh, says... I, I can also contact you. Pull out this... this Crying orb. Ah, yes, you have one too. Cool. We can cool. be like pen pals or whatever. Totally. Well, I gotta go teach class before I get yelled at. Bye. And she speeds off into the school using her feline yeah. agility. <laughs> uh, so she just like runs. She was like, just like she just <laughs> sonic sonic and then she the runs again. area. We just see a, a silhouette of her. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, mm. I am spent magically. I barely have enough to post more spell to catch more spells. Well, well, what? Maybe you should have, like try to hit him with a stick or something. Conserve your energy. I, I'm not good at hitting things. 
Do you remember when I tried to hit that platinum egg? The platinum egg shell? But you're so well, big! Game like Gal had no point out how much taller than you are than he is. I am tall, but my arms are skinny. Shows his arm, his you long just thin noodle arms. arm. <laughs> yeah. It's like SpongeBob noodle arm. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these noodle arms, and you actually <laughs> slap them across the face. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Uh, okay, well, you uh, basically leave the school grounds, I guess. Yep. So, uh, um, sure. what did you talk to the headmaster about exactly? That'd be more of a question for Storm. Oh, true. Since he was the one that mostly talked to him. But then Nick's what I asked. Yeah. Apparently... I, I think we heard that the the pirate lady that Morgan's gonna fight is really scary. Like, really gonna kill us if we go fight her. According to... I can basically do, like, a sort of summary. According to the headmaster, from what he heard from the guildmaster, there is a small base of operations that her crew set up on near the coast that they're still preparing you know to make it well fortified basically the whole plan is that they're going to create some sort of raid to take out that base to prevent her from having more influence in the mainland mm -hmm. Otherwise, she's mm -hmm. an extremely dangerous person. And all the hints line up to a woman with gold eyes and with red and white hair. <laughs> that seems like a very common theme. With three hints leading towards this woman from both Liar, the Headmaster, and from whatever information that you have gathered. Mm. By the way, liar. Yes? You've seen that set when I mentioned the weapon. Any reason? Um, it was more or less well, about I her mean, homeland than the weapon. I mean, I guess I would be familiar with it if I'd seen the warlord before, yeah. right? <laughs> Oh my god. I you just saw the fall like, picture. You've seen him a couple him. times around, but he never like directly approached you. Like he was a burly orc that just ruled the island nature. Why is Fall a Cyclops? He's not a Cyclops. His <laughs> eyes are just super close together and he's cross eyed. Okay. What? I I'm missing where Anyhow. this image is. Right above Fall's it, icon. I don't see anything. Oh, that's it's so hard for me to see. I could not see it from. Yeah, it is a very light blue that I draw on. Anyway, Liar is like very fidgety and nervous and like, I mean, I might be familiar with the weapon you're talking about. You've seen it. Oh, in did you know who wielded it? Uh, you know, if it's like I'm, in a museum? You remember no, the orc very... warlord's name? It was Ulthug the Hurricane Wielder. What the Hurricane Wielder? Ulthug. Ulthug. You wasn't very creative with nicknames. Okay. The hurricane. No one was willing to call him out on it because of how he can wield <laughs> hurricanes. <laughs> yeah, the Hurricane well. Wielder. <laughs> Sorry. What did Fall ask again? Uh, you seemed upset when I mentioned the weapon. Any reason yeah, why? Well, I'm familiar. I might be familiar with the weapon you were talking about. Uh, yeah. Glad no, I was asked if she asked. knew. Yeah, I asked. I asked if you knew who wielded it, or if it was in a museum or something. <laughs> nah, you've seen oh, it in well, action. No, he was a very scary green man. 
and not very nice. By Who's green man, do you mean an orc? You think uh, we can take him? <laughs> well, the scary lady with the red and white hair took it from him. So I guess you watch she boiled. You remember this specifically remember when they dueled. They, she absolutely they, destroyed him in combat. He no, didn't even no, land I don't a think head. He take her. Like he summoned I a mean, hurricane and she backhanded it like it was nothing. Who sounds like a DBZ fight? Who's the who's the lady with the hair like? That's weird. She never no, introduced she herself. She didn't say anything. The... Hmm? She didn't introduce herself. She didn't say anything. She simply walked up to him and challenged him to a duel for the weapon. Wouldn't the red hair, red and white hair, be a reaction? Get a reaction from uh, these two since they were at the meet the talk. I'm sorry. What? When when talking about red. Woman with red and white hair get a reaction out of uh these two because of how uh, uh what's your name? Uh, never mind, I can't speak right now. Type it out. No, never mind. I feel like I'm gonna be. I feel like if I do that, I'll basically role playing for them. So never mind. Uh. I understand what you're trying to say, but whatever. <clears throat> but yes, she'll be like. Well, no, the very scary lady took it away from him, and he tried to yeah. use it on her, and uh, she didn't really care. She just took it. <laughs> she killed him, and then she took it. <laughs> and your island... By the way, what was, was, uh, uh, <laughs> what was, uh... What was, uh... Asimar's, like, reaction to hearing Wolfbrand? Did he give any reaction? Uh, hearing about the axe was um, interesting for Asmar because it was something that the vampires feared. So he'd be interested in getting it. Just kind of out of spite for his past. <laughs> hmm. I mean, great weapon proficiency. So... Yeah, which means that I literally can't get uh, a natural uh, one or two. <laughs> On damage rolls, yeah. Mm hmm. So, yep. if we can't give the axe because a super strong lady has it, there's well, still a so. bow that I was persuaded to be in favor of getting last episode. <laughs> episode? What the heck are you talking about? Well, I don't know, but I'm Galahad somehow has been dice the wall. He will now them. be eliminated in five, four, three, <laughs> two. Do my mom tactical nuke. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't think that's a very good idea either. Anywho, moving. But on. at least we don't know if the bow's like in the hands of someone. What could kill us? I sort of think not knowing that might be worse. Yes. Yeah, you have no idea. All you know is it's in Spellbound Cave, wow. and you don't know who has it. Eh, if worse comes to worse, we could, we could possibly ask, uh, like, some other mercenary to help us. Uh, can we please leave? <laughs> <laughs> sure, we can keep talking while we... You walk out of the covered. area, yeah. While we walking? Yeah. Walking and talking. <laughs> Let's just have a look around town, I guess. See where it takes us. All right. All right. Well, it depends on where you want to go. Do you want to go to the shopping district? Do you want to go to, I don't know, the entertainment district? Um, I want to see... Let's go see the spiders. <laughs> the spider. <laughs> For all my illusions, a, sp a cutesy spider. It is a quiet <laughs> spider on... On your shoulder. <laughs> I just not want to see the big spider. I don't understand, but I guess I'll sympathize. His I'm joking. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm joking. I'm not doing that. You better fucking not. <laughs> no. 
Fall's not that much of a jerk. Mm. Wild roll wild magic, you accidentally make a statue of a spider. I can't <laughs> that's impossible because wild magic only activates when I cast first level. Or higher. Or higher. Mm-hmm. Anywho, moving on. I guess you go wander around town and explore the entire whatever you feel like exploring. I'll um uh, You know, I kinda wanna relax a bit before we see the king. You guys interested in going to see some entertainment? Entertainment? There are uh. things such as plays, uh, singers and dancers. Oh, wait, actually. Is there any type of spa in this area? Yes. Okay, then let me change that. You know what? I've been a bit sore lately. I kind of want to see if there's somewhere where I can relax and unwind, like a spa. A spa? I wish I had my dice on me, but I don't. Yes. That sounds fancy and boring. <laughs> it's what, like, rich people say about taking go to spa. <laughs> I mean, we're technically rich. Look how much money we have. <laughs> I don't know how to reconcile that idea in my brain, so... <clears throat> I have to get into character Same. for this woman. Come one, come all, to the Everlasting Spa. We just finished our construction and we are open for business. Please come inside and unload all of your worries into our relaxing spa massage and pedicures for all. Spa episode. <laughs> spa, spa slash hot spring. Oh, yeah, I'd be down. Just, just the thing I need. Anyone want to join me? Sure, why not? Your your doggo is like. <laughs> <laughs> Borf. Glad. Liar. Mm. Jesus like looks at you, liar looks at the spa, looks at you, liar looks at the spa. Like, come on, Ma, let's go. <laughs> like a angry <laughs> child. Uh, Hen no, gets up in front of you. Boring in this water and Hen looks uh, down at you everywhere. from your horns and it's like right there is water but it's it's not much it's very relaxing trust me i'm just gonna say gungir follows you because he's just not he's being very oh quiet. i thought gungir he wandered off to his soul, yeah, remember he, yeah, he, he, he's, he's, he's gone i'm just gonna move him like up here eh. um He went back you know to the to do uh, shit. <laughs> hmm. Gunger, well, the thing is, Glad, like, I don't know, Galahad would would not be very interested in a spa because he's never even had a bath, probably. <laughs> or at least he can't remember one. Like. I guess I could ro roll persuasion to convince you guys. I mean, you got as well, that's just like, for certain. That's just like, he's not afraid. He's just, it, his character is more like, he's like, couldn't I do something cooler like see a giant spider? Like, why would I go get water on me? <laughs> it's relaxing. What is Revik doing? <laughs> uh, I guess it might be a good idea. Hmm. <laughs> Before going and well, seeing Well, I guess if king. everyone else is going. Hmm. Fall walks over to the spa. Okay. Ravik, you gonna go Wait, with them or not? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Renegade for life. <laughs> I feel like it's a Phineas and Ferb thing where it's just like, hey, where's Perry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, where's Ravik? <laughs> Suddenly see him getting up. 
All right, so y'all. He suddenly your... puts on the Perry the Platypus hat. <laughs> His secret life is an assassin dealing with spy. <laughs> All right, so y'all go into the spa and you pay a reasonable amount since it literally just opened. It was like five gold a person. Okay. And it, for your okay. Dog, dragon, and bird, it was an additional five. So let's see. And you are all treated very eloquently with a full back massage. Like it just pops all the joints oh, in the no. right places. Liar is not having that. <laughs> They give you foot massages. Player is not having anything but a bath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you just dip in this bath slash hot spring and bathe. Mostly because Jesus wants to. Jesus is getting a pedicure. He's getting his nails trimmed. <laughs> <laughs> I supervise the stuff Jesus wants to do. <laughs> It's like they the they have to pull a grinder to the other stuff. like make his nails dull and not sharp. <laughs> it's a sand grinder. Yeah. <laughs> what about Hen? Hen is just Glad's hair is like Goku's. Yeah. Like you try to get it flat. And like just it gets poof. wet and gets flat, but then it just poops back up. Yeah. <laughs> Hen is just it's getting the his talons permanent. like trimmed, and that's like it. Ooh, get them back as, as Fall is getting massaged, he's purring. You ironically have a tabaxi working on you. <laughs> Weird. How does this make tabaxi? You don't know. I'm so confused. Just make And as far you just have back. a basic human woman doing your back. <laughs> shite. What type of tabaxi is this, by the way? Um, it is a lynx. So, oh. short tail. So, kind of similar to how I look. Uh, kind of. Uh, lynxes are pretty fluffy. Yeah, they're very really true. Like Just like maximum fluff. Oh, by the way, uh, Ravik, the uh, entertainment district is actually where this spa is, so you're kind of just like in the area. What do you oh, to I do? was looking for something else, I guess. He's looking you for look some... For? Hey, hey, we're on YouTube, dude. Eh. <laughs> I mean, we've sworn already, I don't care. Say what you wish. Uh, well, Mavic will be looking for a dance club. Okay. Goes the flex Prophesize a... Nightclub or a strip club? Because <laughs> <laughs> there is a difference. Uh, what was the first one again? Nightclub. A nightclub. Just like you know, a place where you rave can dance. Party. Yeah, rave party and get drunk. <laughs> yeah, that one then. Sure. You go rave party. Oh boy, party he's going to listen to Druid Sandstorm again. <laughs> yeah. All right, back to the rest of the party. I, the rest of you just finish up with your massages, your miscellaneous. We're all soaking. Yeah, you're all basically soaking with think, towels on your head. Me all on my own. <laughs> Jesus joins you by sitting on your lap. He has a towel on his head too. <laughs> oh. Surprisingly, they have one oh. tiny enough for Hen. <laughs> <laughs> Told you this would be relaxing. Thorn is just swimming around like a dog in the water. <laughs> Good boy. I could I continue recording the whole thing with gun gears, gun droid. <laughs> Battery is now thirty percent. It the uh, oh it notifies you. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I look like like you're just trying to like do the thing where you point it at your face like you're vlogging, but he doesn't know how to point it, so it's 
all you can see is like his left eye. Mm-hmm. And it's like angry. See, I imagine that like, you see, as you were recording this, this you were all really cool. Correct. See, I imagine as you were Liar. recording this, you flipped it on the wrong camera. Liar, you're not alone, you have Jesus. <laughs> Just me and my drug. Actually, let me roll something real quick. Oh no. <laughs> actually, just so you know, it's a unisex. <laughs> no. Oh boy, who do I want to throw with you? Oh no. Oh, okay. oh. oh no. There's a red and white haired one. <laughs> <laughs> where, where the hell is she? Angel suddenly appears. Oh no. <laughs> Actually, I have a feeling I know who it is. Alright, I'm actually gonna conveniently move people around just to do this. Eh. Bird. There's just a dragon. Bird. Oh, whoops. Eh. By the way, I am curious. Did uh, any of the spa workers like have a reaction to Hayes's? Not really. It's like another average Tuesday. Yeah, we just had to file another Platinum Dragon. Alright. Oh, no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> not who I was thinking of, actually. <laughs> was she already in there, or did oh, yeah, she, she come in, in when I was already in? She was already in there. When okay, I lie. Her turns back around and does not get in the bath at all. She no. yanks you in with your her tail. <laughs> she <laughs> screams. Invisibility. Hey, you. She says, looking at you. I could only cast that once per day. <laughs> <laughs> and she already used it. Yep. <laughs> Just relax. I won't hurt you. I'm I... about to leave anyways. Oh, okay. I was also about to leave, but, um... <laughs> She's just, like, hiding behind her towel. She shrugs, and <laughs> Jesus swims over to her and just starts, like, yabbering to her in Draconic. And they converse in Draconic. I have to Olivia. <laughs> Yep, basically. And after about ten minutes, Olivia leaves. Wow. Eh. Oh, I was gonna say that's a long conversation with baby. Yes. <laughs> and now you are alone. It was not. <laughs> she just slowly sinks herself under the water. <laughs> it's like I need this. In between, no, just like oh god. <laughs> Jesus just like pokes you with his. Now, dull claw. Just like, poke, poke. Poke, poke. <laughs> he pats your head. <laughs> there, there, child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then he kind of just, like, sits in your lap and just, like, licks your face. Oh. <laughs> just, like, feel you better, mama. <laughs> <laughs> it was honestly not the character who I thought you were going to have there. <laughs> I thought you were going to have Mermaid Girl reappear. Or Siren Girl. I thought it was going to be the assassin. Oh, God. I mean, there was oh, a, terrible there options. A, I could have had fucking Blaze's mother up here. <laughs> I was actually going to laugh if because he, he, when he said he needed to move people out of the way, I thought he was going like, to drop just like a... A uh, gargantuan-sized dragon <laughs> who just is female. Like, oh god, <laughs> it's mostly occupied the whole room. <laughs> oh, I mean, it could have been worse. I could have uh, put on the board the woman that actually did kill that warlord. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. and, and Aboleth. There's just a, there's a there's just a female Aboleth there. <laughs> you see a beholder with a bow on it. Had <laughs> <laughs> Miss, mm. like Miss Pac Man, yeah. Miss Why did this happen to me? Hi there, my name is Jim. I made my mistakes. Anywho, um, I, are we good to call it there? I mean, there's not really much else I have written down. I guess. Okay, I don't mind. Um, do we want to? How many? How long? How much time did we have to kill before the meeting? 
they said it could happen at any time. They will just come and grab you from the hotel. Mm. Okay. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. I, just, I wanted, in, I wanted to make sure it wasn't of, like a, we weren't forgetting do, something. Like, next session, you're definitely so going to be meeting with the, the king if <laughs> all of you are able to make it. Which Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure we didn't forget. Like, next not filler episode. Oh. It wasn't a filler episode. We decided that you, you bought a bat duel with Ravik, and now we're going to go find the bow, I guess. That'll I don't think we're going to find here. the bow this episode. No. That's well, no, I mean, I mean, but you know what I mean? Like, our course after we're done with the king is set. That's probably our next thing. Yeah. Uh, yes. Fall. Uh, Fall just says, so what I tell you, Relaxing, is it not? I don't know. I don't have a protective layer of dirt anymore. <laughs> what? Safety dirt. <laughs> it's just people can see all my how I'm reading stuff now. Doggo oh. looks offended. <laughs> okay. Uh ASMR? Hmm. <laughs> yes. A lot of exclamation marks. Never mind. <laughs> hmm. Yes, Ravik. Uh, well, since I'm at the nightclub, uh, I'm gonna do a quick look around while I'm there. Checking for crimes. Not necessarily. Well, with a nine. With a nine. Let me see if anybody's gonna be obvious. Crime. Oh boy. You see Morgan's mother. Oh boy. Interesting. I did. I am kind of looking for co any cobalts in the area, but yeah, we'll see what happens. You see a blue cobalt. Any other descriptors? Um, it seems like they're wearing just like a plain, like worker's sort of jacket. And pants. I'll go up to this cobalt. I'll kind of near the cobalt, but he won't say anything. Like seeing if he'll, if this cobalt will introduce himself first or whatever. You just see him like over near the bar getting a drink. Uh, Ravik will tap him on the shoulder. Uh, what? Oh, howdy, stranger. What brings you here? Yeah, drink, entertainment, relaxing after a long day of work. Uh, so, uh, you with anyone? I mean, I got one of my friends out on the floor. Haven't seen him all in a bit. Probably bathroom or something. The idiot always gets drunk. I was, I was talking more about in the more love sense. Eh, not really. I'm kind of just a wanderer. I see. Let's see. Uh, uh, I suppose I'm not too interested, am I? Do you... The cobalt looks at you... Come again? <laughs> Is that am I interesting to you? I mean, I haven't seen one of your scale in quite a while. You guys are mostly on the coast. Or over on the archipelago. The archa what now? Archipelago, a group of islands. Actually, it's an archipelago. Noun. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't seen not really many kobolds around here if you're looking for somebody. Oh, thing is about me is I'm sort of lost in what I'm looking for right now, to be honest. Well... Maybe you just haven't found what you're looking for yet. 
I mean, uh. in between. I mean, I'm not re- usually around here. I came here about a week ago for a delivery mission for the guild hall. Delivered what I needed to there, and they said take a week off, and I did. I've mostly seen gray scales around here and black scales. Not really many of my color or yours around here. Uh, difficulty with me is I don't see many of the colors that I be uh, that I used to be able to see. Mm. Well, the black ones they tend to stay to the shadows. The gray they blend in with the walls of the floor, so you can't really find them that easy. The only way you will notice them is if they're wearing clothing. Most of them either join in the Assassin's Guild or joining up with that weird pirate lady. Pirate lady? Yeah, you haven't heard about her? She's the one that killed off 90% of the damn white kobolds. Damn shame, ain't it? Oh, I have a particular interest in her. Yeah, she almost wiped out two whole kobold civilizations and actually managed to best one of the people who wield a legendary weapon, so I've heard. Uh, these damn legendary weapons. Yeah. Get this. It was a burly orc, probably quadruple the size of both of us. And he lost without getting a single hit on her. That woman's strong from what my boys at the docks said. They seen her occasionally come to shore from her most recent post that she's setting up. Comes landside just to scope out situations, either in disguise or not in disguise. She isn't hiding who she is. All we all know is that when we try to search for any type of power, her, she explodes in it. Like, not literally, but if we use like something like Detect Magic, She's coursing with it. You know, I actually didn't even catch your name. What is it? Oh, I'm sorry, my name is Yellow Belly. <laughs> he actually has a yellow belly. He's all blue with a yellow belly. <laughs> well, that's unusual. It's kind of like a crossbreed, so to speak. You don't see many of them around. We're kind of rare. I see. Well, I'm Ravik of the Lightning Clutch. Ah, pleasure to meet you. Well, I guess I have to be off. Oh. But, uh, he's gonna, as he gets ready to leave, he's gonna blow a kiss to this guy. <laughs> Well, uh, okay. Wouldn't that be a charisma roll? Yeah. Sure. With the oh 20. God. Let me roll for this guy. <laughs> yeah, he fails. He, he gives you a Opposed minus one. charisma? <laughs> like, you, you can see the red on his cheeks. It's very visible. It's like, oh, oh um... No, it's right, purple. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll see you around, man. I gotta look for my buddy. And he gets up from his seat and... Kind of like huddles into the dance floor. You just see him disappear in the legs of people. <laughs> well, we out of character learned something new about Ravik. <laughs> he swings both ways. Blows? <laughs> Anywho. It's just a bro kiss and between two. guy pals. Moving <laughs> on to Liar. Liar is going to duck out of the whole spa thing early. Okay. And, uh, she's going to tentatively and cautiously leave the spa altogether okay. and try to find her way back to the hotel on her own with her terrible sense of direction, but not before casting disguised self on herself. <laughs> You still have Jesus following you. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. 
Music what would she roll to find her way? I guess that would be no roll, idea. I guess, intelligence? You yeah, would do, yeah, is there survival of skill in this edition? Yeah, survival. I, you could yeah. use survival. Yeah, survival. there is survival. I forgot She's about gonna that. disguise self, herself as, like, generally a human version of herself. Sure. Yeah, doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't Glad have, like, the street urchin trait that lets him, like, know the layout of the land after sleeping for a day? Mm-hmm. And I can move twice as fast through cities as anybody else. Oh, well, she manages to get I'm actually back quite good life. at survival. Surprisingly, with your nice. experience in the cities, now with more experience as you go on, you find it easier to go back to where you came from. I'm still it's terrified kind of the whole time. Landmark, like the giant spider. And moving very slowly and trying to stay out of everyone's way. Everybody <laughs> Even pays if she you does no look mind. like a human. <laughs> So, and then Galahad. Oh, me? Yes. Oh, no, I was doing a question because everyone else was, I just wanted to be part of the team. <laughs> Thing. Sure. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I guess we pop out of the spa. Pop out of the spa. And Liar does not pop out. <laughs> Where did Liar go? Hmm. Maybe she went to the library. Maybe. Oh, yeah. How long do we have until we meet the king? Ha ha ha. Terrible joke. You assume possibly one to two days is your best guess from mm. today. So it could be the next day or the day after. So any of you guys want to do something? I would, I would like to... I don't know. I would almost like to wait to do the rest of the town stuff when the storm's back. But... It does feel kind of off without Storm. Mm -hmm. And we can just call this a mini-sode. Yee. Yeah. Oh, there's always interreactions to be had. Yes, you can talk, so talk amongst yourselves. Mm -hmm. yeah, talk, you dorks. I don't know what to talk about. Do I find the others? Yeah, you find <laughs> these three. <laughs> I imagine we look refreshed and relaxed, yes. <laughs> <sighs> well, there's a, there goes that. Something up? Uh, maybe potential gay sex in the future? I don't know. <laughs> Insight! Um, alrighty then. Insight on that? <laughs> I just imagine all that. three He's of like, you were sipping like mojitos and you all spat them out. <laughs> well, I just like the idea that it's like he thinks of it as he's like, it's not just sex, it's gay sex. <laughs> yeah, roll insight. 19, was it 19? Tell me about He's not that lying. in character. <laughs> I'm, excuse me, what? Well. If it wasn't obvious, um, well, I guess you would call it bisexual. Yes, Galahad. <laughs> what sex? Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> You're about to corrupt the poor, innocent child. I'm well, not explaining this stuff to him. Someone else can deal with that. <laughs> we'll tell you when you're older. I'm 16. <laughs> Oh god. I just don't know things! <laughs> oh no. That's what happens when you live on the street? Well, oh, no. I'm when I'm worried. <laughs> when a guy and girl whatever. love each other. Fine, you, don't have to, you don't have to. You skip. can just make stuff okay. up. Whatever. You no, just no. I'm trying to do something like really that. storms out. No. Thank you for <laughs> ruining what well, I was going to say. <laughs> Thank you for ruining my bit. 
<laughs> Gal had the. I didn't want to go out here anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess you run home, Galahad, with your ability. He stomps off. Yeah. Nah, eh, don't worry. I'll explain it to him later. <laughs> oh no. I, I'm more worried if you explain it. Yeah, that's that's me out of character too. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, he sits on. down with his book. He's like, "You see, when a Galahad and a liar." Oh no! <laughs> the ship of ensues. <laughs> no. Yes, he just reads uh, he, he reads the book. He, when Gungir and what was it he shipped Gungir with? A know. fire hydrant. When Gungir and a fire hydrant love each other very much. <laughs> <laughs> freaking and Revic makes fan fiction. Friend fiction. <sighs> and then Doggo looks confused at the word sex. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm assuming you just all go back to the hotel and take a rest for the evening. Mm -hmm. I guess. Since we can't do... Since we can't think of anything to do. Part, part of me wants to go snap a picture of the giant spider. <laughs> I mean, you can go do that. Then do it, man. Do it. I do that before I go back. Okay. To I show everybody. Except for Liar. Go to bed, and that's where we're going to call it for tonight. <laughs>